Sports figures as heroes. That's an idea that's been around for some time, and what? Really? Like, that's an absurd idea, and it always struck me as absurd, even as a kid, where I was told, look up to these sports figures, they're, they're good, and they accomplish things and stuff, but I always was like, playing sports is not an ethical or moral achievement, it's not something that is of life value. Yes, it's entertaining, and they make lots of money from it, but that is not a figure that I should be basing my life decisions on. He is not, or she is not a figure that my life is actually going to be that comparable to, even. And this idea of holding them up as something I aspire to be like is patently absurd. Yes, they play sports, but what does that have to do with the rest of life? What skills can I learn from their example? Oh, well, they're enduring and they try hard and stuff. Well, so does a coal miner. So does a lot of other people. Why is the guy who's highly visible more important or more valuable? And for that matter, when we look at the idea of sports figures as heroes, I don't even think I need, but I will anyway, to make the case of how many of them are doping. Lance Armstrong just came out with that. You know, he was supposed to be that great figure we all look up to. He survived cancer and everything, but he was placing all kinds of stuff through his system. Right? You know, it's he was hopped up on all the juice he could get. And how many baseball and football figures, well, football, they haven't even really touched on that angle, but the baseball rigmarole that happened a few years ago because of all of them being on steroids, you know. When we look up to these figures who really have no ethical reasoning to what they do, they just play a sport game for money, you're looking up to somebody who's an entertainer. And while being an entertainer is not bad, don't get me wrong, it's not somebody that you should derive your life lessons from or derive the important qualities of yourself from their example. They play ball for money. And however you feel about that is fine, but that does not make them a hero or a figure of aspiration. That makes them a person talented at sports. And that is what they should be, a figure of entertainment, something that you can perhaps look up to their dedication to the sport, you know, learn from their lesson of their achievements and their losses, but don't call them a hero. Don't call them a figure of aspiration on a personal level. Don't point children to them and say, be like that. No, no. Find figures of real merit and value and accomplishment, you know, like an Albert Einstein or somebody. Something or somebody who has achieved something truly magnificent and valuable or somebody who holds themselves up to a higher ethical or moral standpoint than the average person. A hero. Someone you look up to. Someone you want to be like should be more than the average person. They should embody more ideas than just throw a ball around and make money. That's, that's not really fulfilling on a spiritual or you know mental level, however you want to phrase it. And when you do look for a hero, that's a personal thing. If you want to have a hero, it's based a lot on what you want out of your own life. But I would hope that you would want more from your life and more from the very structure of your being than what a guy who's playing sports can offer as an example. That, that always struck me as aiming low. Like, out of all the people in the world who have ever existed, some guy who can throw a football is the one that you want to emulate. It, 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 you're aiming low. That's really all I could say there. And I'm not trying to belittle people here who do aspire to be like sports players and they look up to those kind of people. That's fine. But you actually have a life modeled then, or you wish to have a life modeled around what they're doing. And that's a bit different. But even then, choose your hero carefully. A lot of the people in the sports world are morally ambiguous and more concerned with victory and appearances than an ethical framework. It's just part of having to win. When the drive to win overcomes you, you'll do a lot of things. So I urge caution when people are selecting their heroes from the ranks of sports people. Just look carefully and judge carefully and then think, is this what I want from a hero or is there more out there for me to aspire to have? Just something to think about.